Hi, and welcome to Studio Binder Academy. I'm Brandon. In this lesson, I'll be covering how to use the Tasks feature within Studio Binder. With so many moving parts, keeping track of a project's progress can be a bit of a hassle. That's where Studio Binder's Tasks feature comes in. Within every project is a Tasks page, which can be found by hovering your cursor over the Plan option here in the Navigation sidebar and selecting Tasks in the pop-out menu. The Tasks page is where any tasks that have been created in the project will aggregate and gives you a bird's eye view of their progress. By default, the available columns are On Hold, In Progress, Needs Review, and Approved. However, you can customize these by clicking the More button here, which will allow you to rename the column or change the color by clicking Edit Column, or remove the column by clicking the Remove Column option. You can also create additional columns by clicking the plus button here. This can be helpful if you want to create a column for someone so you can quickly see all of the tasks they are responsible for in that column. Tasks can be added directly to the tasks page by clicking the add task button here on a column, giving it a name, and pressing the enter slash return key on your keyboard. This will bring up a task card pop-up. In the pop-up, you have options to modify the task name, Add a description, assign the task card to a teammate on the account, set start and due dates, add a task checklist that can be checked off as they are completed, as well as add attachments and comments specific to that task. And clicking the more button here will give you additional options to duplicate, archive, or remove the task card. And once you've finished filling in the information, to close the task card, simply click the X here and you will be taken back to the tasks page. You'll notice here on the task card that because I entered a task checklist, it displays that I have zero of four tasks completed. Now along with creating tasks here on the tasks page, you can also create tasks on the individual project feature pages. For example, here on the stripboards page, here to the right of the share button is the tasks button. Clicking here will open the Tasks sidebar. Currently, it tells me there are no tasks on this page and that every task in the project can be explored on the Tasks page. So to create a new task, I'll click the Add New Task button. And just like on the Tasks page, I'll enter a name and press the Enter slash Return key on my keyboard. In the Task Card pop-up, I'm given the same options as before to add a description, assign the task card to a teammate, set start and due dates, create a task checklist, add attachments, or comments. Another helpful feature is here at the top of the task card. I can click here to select the column on the tasks page where this task should be placed. So for example, I'm going to select the column I created for myself here in the drop-down menu. Now, when I close out of the task card and go back to the tasks page, I can see the task that was just created in my column. To view the task card, I can click the More button here and select Edit Task from the drop-down menu, and the task card will be brought up. And to move a card to another column on the Tasks page, you can click and drag and drop the card to the column you would like. So as you can see, keeping track of the progress of your projects is easy with Studio Binder's Tasks feature. Well, that's going to do it for this lesson. I hope this has been helpful. To stay up to date with new lessons, be sure to like and subscribe to be notified when new lessons are added. I'm Brandon with Studio Binder Academy. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.